Hello, Sharon. How are you? I am well. Stephanie, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Actually, we met a while back at Raphael Sabarge's house for Greenwish a long oh, time wow. ago. Yeah. Yeah. A long time ago. But a long time ago. We, I've been a, in his house. It was really a long time ago. He was still married then, I think. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Sorry. Off track. Um, anyway, first of all, you're way too classy to be in this series. <laughs> Fancy as for your lifestyle compared to your daughter in the series oh you mean missy yes Yes. yeah yeah yes missy right missy has high standards but she came from a low a low humble beginnings which is why it's so important to her that mm-hmm. she maintain that level because she's scared, you know, she never wants to go back to the hard scrabble life that she came from. Right. And it's, um, I think it really reveals a lot about what the judgment is all based on and why she needs her daughter to represent something that she worked so hard for, but still doesn't feel secure in herself. Right. Right. Now, in, when you were, uh, you know, found out about this project, what drew you to this character? The, the jumble of contradictions. Um, <laughs> Missy represents a, a, a generation, like I do, of women who started out um, with certain understanding of um, independence and opportunities. But the fact is, the society wasn't really ready to support that completely, mm-hmm. certainly. Um, there were still a lot of glass ceilings. And especially in the culture that Missy comes from, meaning that, you know, more traditional world Mm -hmm. and uh, the younger women, you know, they, they, they have expectations that they can count on for um, being able to speak up parody, uh, a recognition that equality is uh, not just an aspiration, but certainly what what we have come to expect and demand and your status in the world does not have to mean you're attached to a man so i think she she's relatable Mm -hmm. she um she loves her granddaughters but doesn't want to be called grandma (laughs) me either (laughs) that's relatable and and the appeal of being in a an adaptation of a best-selling novel series I think that speaks for itself. You know that that there are fans around the world, literally twenty two countries that this right. published. Right, it. and that for me is very appealing. If if it's good enough for all those people, I'm I'm excited to show it to other folks that don't know about the show or about mm-hmm. that the, the Joe Pickett world yet. Right, or the author. I mean, he's definitely has a, a amazing storytelling. I love. I I watched the first five episodes. Loved it. In fact, I binged it. I didn't even stop. It was just, it, it appealed to me, the storytelling, um, the conflict. Um, and I, you know, even felt when the family was in danger, I had that, it, you know, it, it translated to me. So I really felt that I was in the story and, you know, could just forget about everything else. And that's because of not only the production, but the storytellers, the actors that are, you know, like yourself. I'm so glad you mentioned the actors because with it in the hands of Michael Dorman, who I fell in love with on Patriot and mm-hmm. um, for all mankind. And he's so yep. different in this as Gordo. Julie, yep. <laughs> uh, Juliana um, Guil, who has their relationship their the subtleties that they bring to their fear, to their triumph, to their, insecurities and their confidence these they're they're masterful of course paul sparks from um house of cards right he's so compelling in this mustafa speaks playing nate romanowski he's uh maybe a fresh face to to some of you but he comes from such a a background that's so interesting as uh an athlete and a he's he's a um uh, a bio bio scientist studying Mm -hmm. sharks wow this is the background of the people is so so rich that they can't help but bring a fascinating depth to all of the characters and I'm thrilled to be part of it we're family now and it feels great well I look forward to several seasons of this I hope you like Calgary for shooting (laughs) I do I loved it I lived on the Bow River that was very rejuvenating Um, I I, I love the Canadian geese they didn't annoy me at the end (laughs) 
I, I watched their life cycle and I thought that they were meaning their babies. It was, it was right. a good place to be. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking time and uh, much uh, congratulations for this uh, series. Thanks. Wonderful. Yourself is a marine biologist. I said, biologist. Oh. I met marine biologist. <laughs> no problem. All right. Thank you. We'll Bye. see more of you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.